All right, here we go. This is gonna be me experiencing Tesla full self-driving for the first time. And mate, has been a long time coming, <laughs> it really has. Uh, I'm gonna meet up with a friend down in Port Melbourne. So uh, actually, I need to do the exact address because I want to find, I wanna see how it does with like getting to a parking spot. All right, we're not going to the Exchange Hotel, but close enough. All right. Now, Tesla uh, has kindly uh, allowed me to borrow this Model 3 for the next several days. Uh, so I'll be doing a lot of content around FSD because it's the most exciting thing to happen. Uh, I did try to organize this earlier, but my schedule there's got nothing worked out. So here we are. Um, I think I can exit from here. Yeah, I think I can. So I'm not going to have my hands do anything on the steering wheel unless I need to intervene. Okay, oh, that's freaky. It's now indicating. I've seen plenty of videos where people describe this like um, a new driver, uh, L-plate driver. And there's a good challenge up ahead. There's a little slip lane. What's it gonna do? It's actually gonna go into the slip lane. And the important thing there was that it actually behaved like I would do it. That is to say, you, know, you don't just go, like in the old um, EAP, FSD, it would just literally, if there was a lane to get into, it would do so as quickly as possible, almost danger, almost dangerously, almost dangerous-like. <laughs> um, there we go, unprotected left turn there. All right, um, it's, it's accelerating at a speed that I would have done myself as well. I um, I gotta, I'm just gonna leave my hands in my lap. <laughs> I just, this feels very, very strange. All right, um, 1.1 kilometer, one kilometer, we're gonna take the freeway, okay. I think the freeways are easy. I'll be doing another video where I'm gonna put it through uh, as many challenging intersections as I can. And in Melbourne, there is a there is a many, and actually on my way to work, there's about three of them. So I uh, can't wait to bring in that video because uh, I think what it's doing right now, this is autopilot on steroids. And uh, I know it's using a different stack, it's different computing, it's three times more powerful than anything before, it's hardware four. I'm running hardware three on my car, by the way, which is, uh, when will we ever get it? I was ready to pull the pin. I was so excited. Let's see here, now this is a slip lane. Okay, 160 meters, we'll be joining the freeway. Now you're supposed to legally indicate here. Um, it's not indicating, but it's fine, we're in a slip lane. Unprotected right, nothing there anyway. Merge situation, uh, it's indicating, and it's indicating the correct direction. Uh, that was one of the old criticisms of the last EAP and FSD. It would sometimes indicate the wrong direction when merging onto freeways, hilarious. And now we are getting with some traffic here and we're going to go up to 100. It's given space for that car in front to actually get in, so that's good. And I think this is going to be the boring bit that I'll probably cut out of the video because this is nothing terribly exciting, to be honest. All right, we're going to be on the M3 for a while now, so if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I cover electric vehicles from an Aussie perspective, and I pride myself on telling it like it is. And if something's great, I'll tell you as such. If it's bad, I'll tell you such as well. <laughs> and. Uh, also, if you are in the market for a brand new Tesla, um, use my referral link below. You have to use a link, and by doing so, it gives you a discount off your car or some sort of perk, and it also gives me a little bit of money that I can use towards things like a subscription with Tesla, with FSD. But I've got hardware three in my car, so who knows if that's ever gonna happen. I really do hope it does, because I was ready to pull the pin. Were you? Comment below if you were. Um, because like this is exciting. I, I commute most days when I go to work and to be able to just sit here, have the car drive me and I can now pay attention to what's going on in and around me 
I, th th this, this is what I want. This is absolutely what I want. So yeah, by using that referral link, it helps me out, helps you out, and uh, it's a win-win, right? Anyway, in some exciting news. I did ask Tom Drew, that's the uh, CEO, the director of Tesla Australia, uh, whether or not a trial was going to be made available for um, like people uh, who have got, let's say at the moment, hardware form. Disappointed myself that hardware three is not yet supported. I hope it does become, but anyway. And he said yes, and uh, timeline on that, they're still working it through. And the other question I asked was, uh, will this become a, available as a 30-day free trial for people who have new deliveries? And his answer to that was also yes, they're working through it. So, very exciting news. Um, can't wait for this to happen. And the economics of this, well, I guess if you drive a heck of a lot and you can afford it, um, and you're gonna keep your car more than five and a half or six years, just plonk down that $10,100 now. <laughs> Conversely, if you're gonna be changing your car over, like I'm planning on changing ours over in a two or three years from now, I'll just do monthly subscription, thank you very much, and uh, we'll go from there, you know? So uh, this, is, this is great. I, um, I guess this is a boring bit too for you guys. So you know what? We'll uh, get off the freeway soonish, and I'll give you some more impressions, and we'll get some more people in this car. Ooh. The car finally decided to change lanes. I might change it up. It's a bit more aggressive when it's changing lanes. Uh, yeah, yeah. the dynamics, did they change it? Hmm. Certainly was a setting that you could tell it to be a bit more Mad Max, a bit more aggressive with its lane changes. Well, my thing of that was our feature only an EAP and FSD in the past, and now this, I don't know. Anyway, I can change lanes anytime I want to just by uh, doing the indicator and it will go. And, oh, this is interesting. I've got no offset turned on, yet the car's going 83 k's per hour. All right, let's tap on the screen, so we can bring it to 80. Yep, that worked. All right, I, I don't want any speeding fines. This is Melbourne, Victoria, for goodness sake. If you don't know, we are the capital of speed cameras. Um, wait, and can I say, I am really struggling to not touch the steering wheel here. This is just so awesome that I need not touch the wheel. And the markings on this road are terrible because it's uh, got some road works going on. My car sometimes, and uh, there's other car makers out there by the way, uh, when they use the cameras to understand where they should be centering the lane, those little markings on the road where there's like a join in the road, sometimes will send up for a bit of a furphy and it will actually line up incorrectly or maybe alarm at you saying, hey, emergency um, avoidance taken because you're deviating from your lane. You're like, mm, no, no. But this is actually doing it really well. And of course now we're on beautiful, brand new uh, asphalt, bitumen, what do you want to call it? <laughs> okay. Anyway, as I was saying, I have a Tesla link below, like a referral code. So that means you get a discount. I get a little bit of cash that means I can buy stuff from Tesla. Um, please use it because you got to use the actual link itself. Um, and by doing so, it helps out you, helps out me, and it's really appreciated. And subscribing also helps as well. Check out my channel for more content. Maybe one of these videos is something of interest to you. Do, do check them out. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it.